Hello my dear students. Welcome to our online class. I am Mrs. Anju Sharma, your English literature teacher. This video is for class 5. Topic Revision Chapter number 5 which has been taken from your English Mulberry book. Chapter number 5 Peter and Wendy. And this video is Revision Part 2. In our previous class, we have discussed the exercises of lesson number, chapter number 4. And this is Revision Part 2, chapter number 5. So my dear students, let's get start our today's revision. So children, Open your book, open your Mulberry book at page number 72. Describing words, exercise 2. Exercise 2 is, see on the screen, use the clues to unscramble the letters to get the words from the text. Clues are given here and you have to write the correct word. A small pouch sewn on clothing used for carrying small article, that is pocket. Large balls of burning gas found in space, well, star, stars. See, a dark area that forms when something blocks the light, shadow, S-H-A-D-O-W, shadow. A substance used with water for washing and cleaning. Which substance we use to wash our hand? Soap. S-O-A-P. Soap. An opening in the wall of building to let in air and light. Yes. Window. W-I-N-D-O-W. Window. A large piece of woolen material used for giving warmth. W double O double L E N woolen material used for giving warmth. Yes, we generally we use in winter season blanket. B L A N K E T blanket. So our next sentence is next clue is the details of a place where someone lives. Yes, address A double D R E S S address. Next is a set of hard white objects used for biting and chewing. Biting and chewing. White, hard white object used for biting and chewing. That is teeth. T-W-E-T-H. Teeth. So next topic is modal verbs. Children, do you know what are modals? Modals are helping verbs. These are helping verbs that are used to express possibility, ability, permission, request and offer. And one thing very important that is they cannot be used without a main verb. Okay. So our, our exercise is Question number 3 exercise. Exercise number 3. Fill in the blanks using modal verbs. So first is You eat too many sweets. You dash eat a more balanced diet. Now here we are giving advice. Here he is giving advice. You eat too many sweets. You should eat a more balanced diet. You should. Giving advice here. So for advice we use here should. You should eat a more balanced diet. B dash you like tea or coffee. Now there is one thing. One, uh, dash you like tea or coffee. Now here offering something. You are offering something. So would you like to tea? Would you like 
टी और कॉफी सो यू आर ऑफरिंग हेयर समथिंग नेक्स्ट इज लास्ट ईयर आई डैश जम्प हायर देन सीनिया दिस ईयर शी स्टूड फर्स्ट इन हाई जम्प इवेंट सो चिल्ड्रन गुड वी विल राइट हेयर गुड लास्ट ईयर आई कुड जम्प हायर देन जीनिया दिस ईयर शी स्टूड फर्स्ट इन हाई जम्प इवेंट सो वाई वी सेलेक्टेड हेयर कुड बिकॉज पास्ट एबिलिटी इज देयर लास्ट ईयर I could jump higher than Zinia, so that's why we have used here could. Next, it's good to know that you enjoy reading. I dash give you a book of exercise adventure stories. Now, will or shall we use here for future or suggested something? So here, it's good to know that you enjoy reading. i'll give you a book of exciting adventure stories so here suggestion suggesting something so that's why we have put here i will or future tense is also there e i have forgotten my sharpener at home dash i borrow yours now we are asking for permission we are taking permission i have forgotten my sharpener at home may i borrow yours next is last one f father can't find spectacles father cannot find spectacles he was at office all morning and dash have left them there children slight possible ability is there possibility is there so that's why we will use here might we will use here might and when we use this might express possibility possibility is there so he was at office all morning and might have left them there clear so our next exercise is question answers read reflect and write so see fourth question we are going to revise this question number 4 given on page number 72 give a description of tinker bell how tinker bell looked like looked like tinker bell was a little fairy she was a little fairy and she was very small fairy dressed in a leaf gown she was as big as a child's hand you know children child's hand she was as big as child's hand and she moved about very quickly she spoke fairy language next question why did wendy cover her face with the blanket at the end of the story she felt sad na she felt very bad peter after his uh, when she sued her shadow she, rather than asking him thank you he was dancing and he was dancing and showing he did his work by himself so here is the answer wendy had helped peter by sewing his his shadow back to his body instead of thanking him instead of thanking her peter jumped about acting like he had done it himself means he was showing ki he had done it himself this made wendy annoyed and she covered his face sixth question what do you think of peter's behavior after he got his shadow back if you were if you were in his place what would you have done answer peter's behavior after he got his shadow back was not nice at all he didn't he did not thank wendy for help he didn't thank wendy for help now if you were in the in his place what would you have done if i were in his place i have been very grateful one should be grateful i have been very grateful and thanked wendy for help whenever we take help from anyone we should 
से थैंक यू एट लीस्ट वी शुड बी थैंकफुल एट लीस्ट Peter's behavior after he got his shadow back was not nice at all. He did not thank Wendy for help. If I were in his place, I have been very grateful and thanked Wendy for help. Next question: Does this story seem real to you, or does it seem like a fantasy? Give reason for your answer. This story is fantasy not real story it fantasy it deals with a boy loses his shadow which is not possible in reality it contains fairies which are imaginary characters fairies are also imaginary characters clear our next topic is subject verb agreement so students when we write and speak we must be careful to make sure that subjects and verbs agree in numbers let us read a few rules a singular subject needs a singular verb like wendy is asleep a plural subject needs a plural verb the children are asleep two subjects joined by and need a plural verb like peter and tinkerbell are here and in collective noun a collective noun needs a singular verb the family is asleep example is the family is asleep titles and titles of books and movies need a singular verb The Adventures of Tom Sawyer is a good book. Now we are talking about words. Words like scissors and trousers need a plural verb. My trousers are new. And see the pronouns anybody, anyone, everybody, nobody, somebody, anything, everyone. no one and someone need a singular verb like somebody is knocking at the door everybody is here so like this on the base of these rules we are having our exercise now our this exercise write an example of example for each of the subject verb agreement rules you have learned the rules which you have learned so our first example is my sister is my sister singular is in class 5 and my friends plural are in class 4 next the lords of the rings is my favorite book now this is a title of the book as i have told you title of books and movies need a singular verb So, Lords of the Rings is my favorite book. Samira and Ali are the best players of the team. Samira and Ali are the best player of the team. Now, and is here. We will use a plural verb. Two subjects joined by and by and need a plural verb. So here, plural verb is there. The hard. is grazing in the field collective noun is there the herd is we will take singular verb the herd is grazing uh, sorry grazing in the field my spectacles like trousers spectacles scissors now these words words like scissor and trousers need a plural verb so my spectacles are not in my bag clear to you children our last exercise is topic is punctuation punctuation use of commas commas are useful punctuation marks we use them to separate a list of things now read these sentences i went to the market and bought a banana a bag of rice 
and some turmeric we also use commas to separate part to separate parts of sentence so that it becomes easier for us to read sometimes a sentence tells us two things one is the main idea that is important to a sentence and the other is the less important part of the sentence next we use a pair of commas in the middle of a sentence to set off words that are not essential to the meaning of the sentence now here are some sentences tinker bell who was dressed in a leafy gown flew around the room in this sentence children even if we leave out the words dressed in a leaf gown the sentence is complete in this sentence even if we leave out we leave out the words dressed in a leaf gown the sentence is complete the sentence has the main or essential idea tinker bell flew around the room the less important or non essential idea dressed in a leaf gown is marked off with commas now see here are few more examples notice how the sentence remains complete even if we were to miss out the less important idea written within the commas example the mango my favorite fruit is grown in india full stop tina my little sister enjoys reading books full stop my friend srilata who lives in jaffna is coming to visit me so i think children these rules are clear to you now our our exercise is read the sentence given below and separate the main idea from the less important one by using commas in the right place my sister who is 5 years who is 5 years older than i am is in class 10 so my sister comma who is 5 years older comma then i am is in class 10 next guavas especially the green ones are my favorite now guavas comma especially the green ones comma are my favorite my school which is 100 years old is the oldest school in town my school comma which is 100 years old comma is the oldest school in town or stop Samira the captain of our team won the best player award Samira comma the captain of our team won the best player award for stop A dog wearing a blue collar is digging up the flower bed A dog comma wearing a blue collar comma is digging up the flower bed so on the base of that rule which we have discussed it was a exercise i think this is clear to you children so my dear students i hope you have understood all the exercises which we have revised here so there is a time for your assignment your assignment is revise all the exercises learn and write poem my books in your mulberry notebook in very neat and clean handwriting next is learn question answers not only question learn question answers and last is learn and write word meanings of this chapter
first you learn the word meaning then write in your mulberry notebook in very neat and clean handwriting so children it's clear to you so thanks my dear students for listening me so we are ending up with today's class okay children bye have a nice day